So hi sir, myself Sundar from College Dunya as a business development manager. So here uh, today it's a special day sir. So like first of all I really appreciate you sir for accepting our invitation for the interview. So tell about a short intro about yourself sir. Yeah, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'm welcoming you, welcoming you for this occasion. Uh, this is the one of the greatest uh, occasion for us uh, as a part of a Karpakam Academy of Higher Education Faculty of Architecture, Design and Planning. I am mean, I am really welping, welcoming uh, College Dunya for this uh, interview. Uh, before introduce uh, about myself, I would like to introduce about our department. That is a good thing. Uh, instead of introducing a self person, uh, we have to introduce about the um, organization. Our Faculty of Architecture, Design and Planning. It was started in the year 2014, that's sorry, 2009 it was started. Subsequently, um, after in the 2009, uh, it was started with the 20 students of uh, architecture students with the two faculties uh, it was started and slowly it's developed like uh, anything. After uh, 2012 itself, uh, we have almost around uh, um, 80 students per batch as well as a uh, faculty almost around 12 faculty was there in uh, 2012 so, and the later stage nowadays uh, we have almost around uh, 650 students are uh, studying in the uh, faculty of architecture design and planning and uh, moreover uh, um, two to three um, three ug courses and uh, two pg courses uh, we are running in this department uh, and also you uh, you are all aware about that it is one of the best department uh, in Coimbatore area, yes, uh, especially in for architecture and design. Yes, and uh, and uh, your planning department is one among uh, uh, the three in Tamil Nadu. If you yes. take all over India, almost around 20 or 25 planning department is there. Out of that 25 planning department, you are among one in that. Okay. So about, this is about our organization. And uh, myself, I am architect P. Kadiravan. Uh, I finished my architecture from Tiaja College of Engineering, Madurai, and uh, I finished my master's from Manipal. Um, recently, I completed my PhD from uh, Tarpagam Academy of Higher Education, uh, Vaimato. So, our uh, strength is about uh, architecture here, and especially uh, my strength is about sustainable architecture and uh, project management. This is my strength in uh, Kappagam Academy of Higher Education. We did lot of uh, research projects and even a uh, lot of uh, uh, collaboration with uh, some foreign agencies, foreign universities and agencies and we completed almost around 10 to 15 projects from those collaboration and uh, we are the only uh, institute in the southern regions. Uh, we got Erasmus funded project as well as uh, um, Erasmus pin number we have only right now with us. It's good sir. Yes. So let's go on to the question and answer section, sir. So what inspired you to pursue a career in the higher education administration and what draw you to the current role as an dean? Okay, this is about your asking about the administration yeah. in higher education. Okay. Yes, in uh, higher education uh, administration, there is a three part in uh, higher education, you know, very well, I think so. One is uh, academic side yes, and second one is an uh, research side yes, and third one is uh, administration side. Yes, uh, those who are all uh, very strong in uh, academics, they are not uh, good in uh, administration. Yes, sir. Those who are good in administration, they may be not in uh, uh, academics or research. Yes, sir. But uh, how we used to tell in uh, Indian uh, constitution, Indian constitution, there is a three pillars we used to tell. Okay, one sir. is uh, uh, executors, one is policy makers, another one is a uh, judiciary. Okay, These are three pillars of uh, Indian constitution. Likewise, these three pillars are required for any higher education institution. One is academics, another one academician, another one is a research and run third one is administration. Yes, so if you run these three things, then only you are able to come up with a very good institution. As a, as a dean, we have a hectic schedule in uh, administration yes. compared to academics and uh, uh, research. Because every day we are uh, looking after all the affairs, internal affairs and all uh, external, all the affairs we are looking after as a dean. Yes. And we have to take all the administration decision in this uh, chair. Yes. This is like a hot chair. Okay. Whoever is coming in this hot chair, they have to run through from morning to night, even sometimes at 12 o'clock also we have to getting a call from anywhere else, from the management side, from the parent side, from the student side. 
maybe from the government side also we yes. used to get because sometimes we are going we are helping the government yeah even uh, we are helping tamil nadu government to do the master plan for paimba to city okay and then uh, we are helping nidm national institute of disaster management from central government okay. for disaster management activities okay. so likewise we are helping government side also so government people also we disturbing us at any time yeah so we have to manage with all these things okay it's really nice sir so you are handling all the at the same time so second one sir so what do you see as a biggest challenge facing higher education today and how do you think your institution is addressing those challenges higher education first of all going before the higher education school education we'll talk about the school education yes yeah, sir sure sir yes school education is not a good education right now i feel okay. because those days and all there was a value based education yes sir there is a uh, sayings one is a teacher and a guru they used to tell yes. those days and all there is a guru gur okay nowadays there is no guru gur yeah. only a uh, schools and uh, teachers will teachers okay. there is a difference between teachers and gurus oh. teachers teaches the students okay gurus guide the students okay that is a main difference okay so those okay. days are two teachers yeah. Yeah. okay instead of teachers we have to be a guru then okay. only students will come up well yeah then only we are able to instead of giving the knowledge we have to give the wisdom for those students yes, okay so in this case from the school education nowadays the school education people are looking after the book warming and book reading all these things memorizing and uh, writing the examination vomiting the whatever they read they are vomiting that's what they are doing right now once they enter into the higher education especially our institute we have we have feel we are uh, found the students are feeling very difficult to write it in their, their own yes, sir. because in our institute especially in our organization what we are, especially in our department architecture department what we are doing is the students who enter here we are teaching in practical okay it's really good sir yeah in practical only we are teaching especially we are taking the students to the uh, case studies that means case study in the sense we are taking to the sites and we are explaining what's happening in what exactly what they are doing all the things we are explaining then only we come to the classrooms and we again we will explain in the classroom so that automatically they come to know what's practically is happening so that's all happening here so that part they are able to do coming to the theory theory the people uh, the, those who are coming from school the first year students are all even now they are expecting the notes okay because in the college in the college not even in the college even schools also they are not supposed to expect the notes yeah they have to see and write whatever they know the notes okay language is secondary yeah the first one is they have to write in their own yes. what they are seeing what they are knowing all the things they have to come back that's yeah. what a good good education yes, so that difficulty is the students are facing here but our institution giving a right path for the students to come out from that yes sir it's really a nice answer yeah, sir so third one so what do you think as such your institution apart from other colleges and universities and how do you communicate that unique value proportional to the students and other stakeholders coming to that unique things lot of unique things is happening in our institute especially our department is doing lot of unique things as i said earlier uh, we have a, a part of your erasmus funded projects okay and we got a erasmus pin, pin number we have right yes sir that number is called pac number we should tell okay okay nobody is having that pac number in in our uh, southern part of india okay especially we have a number okay we got erasmus funded project and uh, in sept university from ahmedabad they have number okay. and the spa school of planning and architecture delhi and all iits those people only they got erasmus funded projects nobody is having erasmus funded project and tie up with some foreign universities yeah. they are not having that much yeah. if you go anywhere in coimbatore it won't happen uh, anywhere any colleges yeah. so that's what we are standing uh, as uh, apart from other people okay and that is one thing that is a research part in other part so many things we are uh, unique in other people okay especially syllabus part because we have a deemed unit we are a deemed university the people from uh, outside practicing architects and practicing uh, engineers and even from the government part uh, from iit professors they used to come every year here and we are preparing our own syllabus the syllabus is a tailor made syllabus a custom okay. made syllabus basically this custom made syllabus is really helpful for the students in come out from the practical way that uniqueness we have created in this uh, region 
and some more we got some research projects from uh, government central government side okay. dst that of science and technology we got department of science and technology we got some research project in that almost around 4.5 crores to 5 crores uh, we got funding from those people with that funding the equipments almost around 3 crore rupees of equipments we have purchased hmm. those equipments we are taking to the site and we are in the old temple sandal is there in uh, tamil nadu, tamil nadu yeah, in the old temple sandal we are doing um, all the uh, photogrammetric survey that means photogrammetric survey in the sense we are mapping okay 3d mapping we are doing right now okay we are doing the scanning total temple we are scanning and we are doing the 3d mapping and we found out where and all fault is there where and all there is a damages happen that mapping and all we are doing and we are how we are suggested how to rectify, rectify. those damages okay. that and all we are involving our own students yeah it's really that that is some uniqueness yeah. and one more thing recently we have completed the primitive master plan so in that time of master plan our students almost around 200 to 300 students have worked in that master plan oh. they they went for a survey oh. they went for the survey and they went how to they they know they learn how to take the survey and all that is helpful for the students as well as the government of uh, tamil nadu and also it will be like uh, in future so, it will be a very yes in both way it was helpful for both the people yeah. and uh, mutual benefit mutual benefit we used to get and secondly these are all all these things are all realistic projects this will helpful for the students to get the confidence that's why the ours is unique from other institutions it's really nice sir. so last one sir hmm. so how do you approach a decision making in your role and how do you balance the needs of different stakeholders when making a difficult decisions in what we were asking stakeholders in the sense outside stakeholders like, or inside stakeholders you are asking so inside stakeholders sir. okay like you can go the questions will be like uh, uh, mentioned that decision making of in your role yeah decision making is very much important for any uh, management heads yes sir those who are all uh, heading the any institution heading any organization they are they are supposed to be a good decision makers then yes, only sir. they are able to sustain in that role yes sir. i am sustained here almost around 10 years I'm I'm became a dean in the year 2004. Right now, 2000, 2014. Sorry, 2014. I, I became a dean in this institute. Till now, I'm the dean for this uh, architecture uh, design and planning. Almost uh, 10 years I became yes, a dean. Sir. Why I'm sustained here is because of my decision making. Okay, decision making in the sense we have to take whether it's a positive or negative. Positive it comes. It really helpful for the institution. Helpful for our own uh, development. Negative is there means how to come up from the negative. All these things we have to learn. That is a learning process for any management person. Okay. So that's what the decision making part is very much important for any managerial persons. So on my side, if it comes once today today morning any issues is there means immediately I will take a decision. Okay. With my decision, people will work under my. Uh, uh, my faculties under my colleagues and all is there. My colleagues and all working for my decisions, okay. whether it's positive or negative. That is next. Okay. But with the decision, they will work. Okay. So that is really helpful. Yeah. Yes, so at last, sir, so thank you for the uh, like thank answers. You. So the answers were really amazing. Like I, I like you are just saying uh, some other achievements of your colleges and also like your students also going on achieving more and more. So it's really a nice talk with you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you to College Dunia. Yes, it's a great interview. Um, I had a lot of interviews, even as on TV and so many uh, TVs and all people used to come regularly for master plan and other issues. But this is the, the questions are all quite interesting now. Yeah. Um, and it's a great opportunity for us also to express our view in this regard. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.